Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. Um, we start off with a bandage and lots of broken cassette tapes. And this, this is my 1911 Underwood 5 standard typewriter. I've had this typewriter now for about four years, I think. Um, a friend gave it to me after his mother said I could have it. It was promised to me during Christmas of 2012, or 13, no, 13, um, but he never got around to go to his mother's cottage. Now, what happened was, in late January, his mother passed away, so I didn't expect to see it anymore. However, in mid of April, all of a sudden, it sat on my desk. He kept it aside from the estate, and he gave it to me. So here it is. Now, um, I've done quite a bit of work on this machine, it did need a lot of work. The carriage was completely out of alignment. Um, there were a few parts missing which I had. Uh, but now it's fully functional, I've already done quite a lot of writing on this thing. Despite the fact that it's 106 years old. Um, there's a few minor issues with this machine, mostly cosmetic. One mechanical issue is that one of the margins is broken. I'm going to have to find a new part for it. Uh, it's still operational, but it's a little bit finicky to use. I knew that part was going to fail soon because there was already a crack in the metal and it broke off last week, so I'm going to have that replaced. Uh, cosmetically, it appears someone put lacquer over top, over top the paint. Um, there's a few areas where the lacquer started to crack and you can see a few points where they added it too thickly and there's drips everywhere. I wonder why they did it because the paint overall is in good shape, uh, the decals as well. There is uh, even a decals down here, but it's space bar in really good shape, and here on the back as well. But yeah, it changed the tint of all the lettering a little bit. Um, I'll show you a close up of that. But uh, overall, I love these machines compared to uh, many other typewriters. I know with fives and the Royal 10 as well, they're a bit different, but those two are my favorite standard typewriters to use and do love them. Uh, the main reason for the Underwood 5 is that they're so incredibly simple. I mean, all the mechanics are very straightforward. I emphasized this in another video as well, where I used this typewriter to show you how a typewriter works. So, uh, anyways, let me get into it and show you around this Underwood. And here it is. So, the Underwood 5, the classic Underwood 5, um, was made from 1896, which was the number one, to 1933. And this example is from 1911, and it features most of the original uh, stylings that the Underwood 5 came, up, uh, came with, which was introduced in 1900. In 1923, Underwood 5s were updated, they had a different body style, more rounded, and some of the functions also were different. This Underwood still features the old-fashioned shift mechanism that was later updated, where one shift key will lower and raise the carriage, will always return to the lowercase position, and this shift key will actually lock the carriage. Uh, later on, Underwood introduced separate keys for that um, in order to shift lock instead of just shift and having two separate keys. Um, <clears throat> this also shows the original color selector. There's a video on this channel which will have, uh, feature a 1930 Underwood 5, which will show the, the more rounded body structure as well as the updated color selector, which would be installed over here. Um, on this machine, there's just a stencil switch here. Now, these machines are incredibly basic. You have your margins here, you have your carriage return here, your paper clips, paper release, carriage release, everything is right there in a very um, clear in view. Here you have the ribbon advanced gear, which is also um, uh, installed opening view on this machine. Here on the back you have set your tabs. Here is the bell, and as well some of the functions on the carriage. Uh, the margin release is the only switch really that's a little bit obscure. Actually, there's two margin releases. There is one for this side, which will be on, will be over here. So if you, I apologize, sorry. On this side there's a switch, a margin release over here, and on this side the margin release is on the carriage. That's the only major um, confusion I could see occurring with people who are new to Underwood typewriters. This particular model is in really good condition. Underwoods are known for their bad aging, uh, cosmetically. Mechanically these machines are pretty solid. 
Um, but these machines often have very bad paint and worn out decals. This machine still has pretty good paint and decals, even down here it's in very good shape. I suspect it's because someone decided to put lacquer all over it and that kind of preserved the paint, but again, it also changed the appearance of the machine and the decals have yellowed over time. But because they put the lacquer over it, um, all the pinstriping is still intact. I'll clip in some close-ups of that, the patent dates, as well as the United Typewriter Corporation Limited sticker at the front from Toronto and Winnipeg. And um, over here the Underwood Typewriter emblem. So definitely a very nice piece that I have in my collection. I'll go over some of the functionalities. In this video I'll do some typing sample. Uh, there is another video of how to use a typewriter on this channel which will feature this machine as well um, if you're looking for some directions on how to use it. Anyway, stick around for the typing sample. Thanks for watching.